cheaters for up close seeing, which is especially prevalent maybe after age 40 or so? Correct. Think of the lens of your eye as like an M&M candy behind the colored part of your eye. The M&M flexes, and that's how you see near and far. Well, as we get older, a lot of parts of us aren't as flexible as they used to be, which is why we need cheaters. Okay, but now, even if you've had LASIK, you'll find that sometimes you need the cheaters because you just don't see as well. In fact, I remember when I had LASIK, they uh, made one eye nearsighted and one far, but I still need reading glasses. Correct. Yeah, so what, what, tell me about these new technologies which I understand one is called camera and the other is called raindrop. Correct. They are both uh, new procedures. It depends on the eyes and the dimensions and things like that, different technical aspects, and we'll figure out which one is best for you. Mm -hmm. um, raindrop is more for virgin eyes, so patients that have never had LASIK or any procedure on the cornea of the eye. The camera um, works in a different way, but it squishes all the light together so that it now can read the back of the eye. Oh. And you don't know it's there. It's only in one eye, the oh, non-dominant eye. Okay. And it, it's the best thing going. Now, you have had one of these uh, treatments, correct? I have. Which one did you have? I had camera because okay. I had to have LASIK at the same time. Yes. I had been in bifocals for about 16 years mm -hmm. and Dr. Atwell was always on me. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. And I'm like, no, you're not doing LASIK and leaving me with reading glasses. Right, right. So he comes into my office one night and he goes, how about tomorrow? And I'm thinking, I'm really good at my job, but what are you talking about? And he's like, no, tomorrow we're going to fix your eyes. And a man of his word, 10 minutes later, that next day, I was seen perfectly up close and distance. That's a miracle for a it lot was. of folks. You know, because <laughs> you can't have enough of those cheaters. They're everywhere. They're in my purse. They're at home. They're on my desk at work. You're constantly grabbing for them. Do you see perfectly fine now up close? I do. That's cool. Yeah, so unless I'm doing something very meticulous like tying fly fishing lures, because I do a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> Say, yeah, Elaine. <laughs> no, everything from here. And that's the nice thing about this procedure, especially with the camera. Um, it's going to work for the rest of your life. Right. So I have a lot of patients that come in and say, oh, no, my doctor said wait until after cataract surgery. And I'm thinking, all right, what happens if you don't have cataract surgery until your 70s or 80s? Right. You're putting up with 20 years of lucky vision. For 10 minutes, it's the best thing. And then when you go to have cataract surgery, if and when that time comes, you can go with a less expensive option because that near vision's already been corrected. See, that was going to be my next question. What, what if you need cataract surgery on top of it? You know, I got to tell you, uh, uh, this is exciting because you're talking uh, to so many people out there who have found out that even with vision correction surgery, they still you know need those cheaters, but you don't need it anymore. And when Elaine talks about camera, it's K-A-M-R-A. -A. Correct. It's not camera, it's camera. And the other one is called raindrop. And raindrop is basically the same thing, but if you've never had any kind of eye surgery, that would be the choice for you. If you've had something like LASIK, then they would go ahead and give you the camera, K-A-M-R-A. Correct. How long was the procedure? Less than five minutes. Really? Did you feel anything? I didn't. Um, I, I really don't do well with narcotics. They give you a little Valium just uh -huh. to soften the edges. And I think I had more of a problem with the Valium than I did with the procedure. I sat home the rest of the afternoon reading a book, having a drink, enjoying the beautiful weather. Wow. So, Elaine, it was almost instantaneous. For me, it was. For some people, it takes uh, you know a couple of days mm -hmm. or a couple of weeks. It really just depends on the person. I. I believe that once you get to the point that you need the reading glasses, it's easier to get the procedure done and adapt mm -hmm. quicker. All right. Now, from the video that we saw, it looked like something was being put in the eye. Is that what happened? That's what it is in both procedures. So with the raindrop, it, it does. It looks like a little raindrop of water. You can't really see it unless you've got a great microscope or an excellent surgeon. Uh, with the camera, it looks like a little disc, um, very small, no bigger than the size of a pencil. You don't see it. You don't feel it. Um, Other people don't see it? Not necessarily, mm -hmm. unless you're really looking right, for right, it. Right, right. Amazing. All right, now we want to let people know, once again, we are on Facebook chat, so we, if you have a question or a comment, by all means, just let us know uh, through your Facebook page, and we can go ahead and uh, talk about that. Want to let everybody know, you have an open house on this coming up Thursday, September 28th, 
at 5.30, so people can come if they're interested and get all the information they need. They can, and the nice thing about where we are and what we do, um, we kind of put it in layman's terms so that it's not the medical mumbo jumbo. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they're very good at what they do, but sometimes you're just like, okay, if there's one person that's gonna go blind, it's me. <laughs> We're gonna walk you through that, so know that yeah. I've not lost a patient since. I I Elaine, is it affordable? It is, especially when you think of the long-term results. Yes. You know, I mean, cheaters, yeah, they're a dime a dozen, but think of how many cheaters you're going to have from yeah. the time you're 40 to the time you're 80, mm -hmm. 90, 100. I couldn't, I couldn't argue with the price point. Well, I know we have uh, a Chris Ann standing by, and she has also had the procedure, and we're going to hear how happy Chris Ann is with uh, the camera uh, technology, where now she can see 2020 all the time. All right, we're going to get to Chris Ann in just a second. Now, you were saying, Elaine, this is used in one eye? One eye only. Okay. You don't realize how much the brain adapts and blends the vision. So really, you only use the non-dominant eye for reading. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, like yourself, you had monovision. One right. eye was corrected for distance, one eye was for near. Right. And some people do well with that. Mm -hmm. You are a perfect candidate. My, our, our CEO is a perfect candidate. I tried it with contacts, and I took the front tire off my car. Ooh. Not a good person yeah. for monovision. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elaine, we do have that uh, audio sure. with Chris Ann. Let's have a listen. So 10 years ago, uh, when I first started researching the procedure, I had to choose between the distance or close up and at that point in time I, I really didn't want to choose and as time went on I began seeing that new products were coming out on the market and the camera was one of them and raindrop was another one of them and I thought you know this might be a really good time to begin to step in and see what I can do for myself with these products. Atwell just seems to be the most cutting edge of all of the surgeons that were up here doing these kinds of procedures and um, with the research that I was doing and some of the people that I knew up here, they just had a wonderful reputation. So I felt very good and safe. What was the procedure itself like? It was done in a very short period of time and I was surprised because you know at first it's a little bit nerve-wracking but um, it was nothing like that. That afternoon I, I was fine and I noticed a difference already and by the next day when I woke up I noticed a difference already looking at my watch, looking at my cell phone, it was, it was exciting. <laughs> So is it safe to say you're happy? I am so happy. I, I am. I feel younger. I feel better. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's good. I am happy about it. I think, uh, I think people are happy when they, you know, get their teeth for a great smile or they fix something or I think, you know, there, there are certain things. This I did just for myself and uh, it's a lot of bang for your buck and it just, yeah, it makes me really happy and it just overall makes me feel better. Yes, indeed, we can end your problems of grabbing for your reading glasses or your bifocals with new technology that's being offered at Dr. Atwell's office. Elaine Renoff is with us. She is the patient education coordinator at Atwell Eye Care. There is an open house on this Thursday, September 28th at 530. You know, Elaine, this reminds me of when, uh, when we were all told that we needed glasses, we got our glasses, then we told the option was you have soft contact lenses. Great, that was a big change. Then we were told we could have LASIK and get rid of the glasses, and that was great. And now this is even better because for all of us who even have that, you still need those reading glasses. And now we have technology, we don't need those anymore. And, and that's just it. I didn't realize how dependent I was on those reading mm -hmm. glasses. You know, to, to jump in the shower right afterwards, and it was like, yep. oh my gosh, my mm -hmm. contacts. And then it's like, oh no, yeah. I can read. Mm -hmm. I know the difference between the shampoo and the conditioner without, you know, kind of feeling my way. The nice thing was, you know, going hiking in Alaska. I didn't have to worry about things fogging up and yes. bringing all yes. the the contact lens, the solution, the extra pair of glasses, the this, the that, you, you don't. How many times I just, my husband said, did you bring the glasses because when we're at dinner and he can't read the menu? Or, or you know, you want to go snorkeling and mm -hmm. you, you can't get anything. It's, it's difficult. This just eliminates all that. So if you always felt that, the, that the, the bifocals and the cheaters in every little drawer in your house are a pain, you can now do without that. 
This is especially great for those of us about between 45 and 60 where that, that close-up vision starts to go and our arms aren't quite long enough. To exactly, the see trombone anymore. effect. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and Elaine, I think it was, it, was, it was genius to have you have it because as the patient education coordinator, when people are coming to the open house Thursday at 5.30, you can talk to them directly. I mean, they're going to say, what did it feel like? How was it? You know, are you happy with it? And, and that's just it. I have patients come up to me all the time. And they're like, okay, give me the lowdown. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that really what happened? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it is. It really is. I mean, I got up from the, the surgery table, and they take another picture and a scan of your eye just so that we have the right measurements. And I was like, am I supposed to be able to read that serial number? Yeah. And Dr. Rattle was like, you can read that? And I was like, is a serial oh. number there? Right? <laughs> So I, I was. I, I had excellent results. Most of our patients do. It, it just depends on, like I said, the time frame right. allowance. You know. Well, let me let me go over some of the questions that are coming in because I'm sure these will be covered tomorrow in the open house. Sure. Or on Thursday for the open house. Will insurance cover the procedure? It will not. Okay. Uh, no. What is the recovery time? Instantaneously. Mm -hmm. um, the first day, the vision is still going to be a little wonky, you know, the technical term. Um, usually by the next day, though, uh, you, you're on a drop regimen, and those drops just make your eye feel nice and comfy, cozy. And most of the day, you should be without cheaters. Oh, wow. Uh, Diane Arnst asked, how much does this cost? It depends. Um, we have two different procedures between the camera but you only and... you one eye, folks. That's the right, beauty of this. Exactly. One eye, not two. So you're talking less than five bills. Okay. All right. That's very reasonable. It is. You know, for, for a life change like this. Exactly. And if um, uh, Annette Herman asks, can you see it on your eye? If you look closely, but, you know, in, in mm -hmm. talking with you, you don't know which no. eye I have it in. I have close-up shots so that people can see it. They'll walk up to me in certain lights, and they're like, can I look? Man, we are becoming so bionic. It aren't is. We? It's like you know? having bionic this eyes. This is great. All right, we have a question. If this procedure is done in their 40s, how long will it last, and will they ever need a redo? Chances are, no, you will never need a redo because, again, it works on that pinhole effect where it scrunches all the light together so that that light can continuously hit the back of the eye. So it's going to improve not only your near vision, mm -hmm. but it's going to sharpen up that distance vision, too. And it's something that you don't have to have replaced before or after cataract surgery. It's, that's it. Yeah. So even if you need cataract surgery, this is still something that you can do. It exactly. doesn't affect that at all. That's different. Correct. Right. The only way it affects you is you have to have a skilled surgeon to work around it and know the differences. Right. We have such a big LASIK practice. This is why we invested in this technology. Oh, this is great. This is Elaine Renoff, everybody. She's the patient education coordinator at Atwell Eye Care. And, um, over at the Harlem Road office, they're going to be having an open house on this Thursday, September 28th at 5.30. There's two technologies that we're talking about. If you've never had any kind of surgery on your eyes, you would be a candidate for the raindrop. But if you have had LASIK, like a lot of us, then you would ask for the camera. But they'll explain that to you when you get there. And I would imagine guys will love this too. I'm speaking as a woman, but I would imagine men as well as women would love, love to get rid of those glasses. And that's just it, especially, you know, for the sports enthusiasts. I was at yeah. the game on Sunday and, you know, Frank Sweating came up and, and uh, exactly, right. they're like, oh, really, can you read that score? I go, I can read that score here, here, and across the field. Not a problem. They're like, you suck. <laughs> I mean, just to be that blunt, but that is. They yeah. were like, you never carry them with you. And I was like, never. Wow. Wow, it's amazing. That's amazing. And, and how many people have you done, has, has the doctor worked on so far? How many, how many of these has he done? Let's see. We've had it for just over two years, going on two years. I want to say we've done 100 or so procedures. You know, we understand that it, it is a costly item. Mm -hmm. It is something that's invested in you know, for the rest of your life. So we're seeing a lot of uptick now, especially with the uh, end of the year. People yes, are thinking, right. are there flex spending? That's right, use their insurance, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Elaine, how many people can you get into the open house? Because I have a feeling you're going to be busy. Um, we can accommodate up to 100. Okay. And I'll feed them even. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Well, you know, you got nothing to lose to go to the open house and learn. And that's just it. Right. Just to hear about it, we're not there to sell you on surgery. We're just there to make sure you have all the tools that you need to make an informed decision. You know, I mean, this is, this is something about making yourself happy and giving yourself something that you've probably always wanted, which was good vision. And, you know, you got the holidays coming up. You're going to have a, a special someone in your life. How many sweaters can you get them? Okay, how many? Think about that. 
what you can give them is the gift of, of better sight. Exactly. And, and if, they, if you have a, a, a someone in your life or even yourself and you love to read and you just love, you know, that opportunity to just enjoy a good book, but you're always feeling around for the glasses, the dog chewed them, I don't know where they went, you know. This is, this is really a, a godsend. It is. And, you know, there's another demographic that we haven't touched on, Linda. Patients that in the past did not, had, that had cataract surgery and they didn't go for a multifocal lens mm -hmm. for whatever reason. You know, it might have been cost prohibitive at the time. No, mm -hmm. reading glasses won't bother me. We can now do this after cataract surgery and give them back that reading vision. You know, as long as they're a good candidate, there's no reason why we can't do that. That's just great. I have a question. What is the material uh, made of that, that actually is in the it's implant? It's a polymer. It's um, porous, so the water goes through, uh -huh. so you don't get any more dry eye than you would normally have. You might initially, because the eyes had trauma, you know, and the eye is not a friendly place to have trauma. Um, but afterwards, it's going to go back to what it normally goes back to. So the, the fluids are always going in and out. Yeah. Nothing. We're seeing that this procedure just takes minutes. But I, I have a, a question I'm sure a lot of people are thinking about. Um, will you feel this being put in your eye? No. Because people like to squeamish about people touching their eye. You know? No, um, I didn't feel a thing. You know, there was a little pressure when they're doing the initial suction to, to make sure that the eye is centered and, and where Dr. Atwell wants it. Um, but I don't feel the disc going in. If anything, it felt a little ticklish <laughs> because you feel the flap being put back and it, it does. Yeah. You know, with that little bit of numbing agent, it, it feels ticklish. And then he's like, don't squinch. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you missed the very beginning of our Facebook chat, Elaine was saying that they put, you only need one, you correct one eye, and then that eye will take over when it comes to reading. You put it in the non-dominant eye. Now, if you've had LASIK, and your vision was once a, a close-up and one's a faraway eye. Would it be the faraway eye? No, the, the close faraway eye? eye should be your dominant eye in oh, okay. most cases. Okay. So we know that you know, already by default, but we'll double check it. Yep. But for most people, they're like, how do I know which one is my dominant eye? We'll figure that out. But just, you know, when you go to, like, sight a gun or something like that, it's what eye you would normally lean Got to. It. Yeah, it makes it's going to be the other eye. Another good question. Can it be removed if need be? Yes. No problem. Not a problem. You know, the cornea of the eye, when they do LASIK or mm -hmm. this type of procedure, which is a LASIK type procedure, the, the cornea is etched in such a way so it's almost like Velcro. So it goes back right away. There's no sutures or anything. It just adheres right away. Um, that's why we just tell you to be careful the first couple of days. Right. You know, it's just amazing that this technology is available now. And it has been available now at Atwell for a couple of years, you said. And that's just it. Dr. Atwell was the first one in New York State to have this technology. Um, again, we invested in it because we have such a huge LASIK practice yeah, great. that we go to so many events and everybody's like, how about the cheaters now? And it was like, I got an answer for cheaters. Right. And, and, and again, bifocals as well. A lot of people hate those things because, you know, if you're a little vain, First of all, you can't see your eyes, and then you're looking through these bifocals, and it kind of, you know, you're thinking it adds 20 years to the way you look. You don't need them anymore. Exactly. It was funny because I told Dr. Ratwall after the surgery, I was like, I can't believe how many people have come up to me and say, you look 10 years younger. Yes, right. And right. I'm like, oh my God, mm -hmm. I would have had this done years ago. <laughs> I can wear my eye, eye shadow now. Yeah, I mean, it's And that's fantastic. the other thing, you know, especially as a woman or even as a guy. You need to have that close-up vision so that you can do the eye shadow, the right. mascara, shaving for guys, those things. Yeah. I mean, oh. what, what if you have a hobby? What if you like sewing? Mm -hmm. What if you like crocheting? You're woodworking. And you've always had a problem because you've got to grab the glasses, you know, to be able right. to see up close. This no, is great. I thread a needle without a problem. Oh, that's amazing. It really is. <laughs> You, will you do it at the open house? I think you should, just okay. to show people that you can do that. And that's it. You know, they bring up things to me, and they're like, can you read this? And I was like, from how far away? Yeah, of course Elaine, I can read that this. Is, that is awesome. You know, Elaine has had this, okay? So she can tell, talk to you when you get to the open house. Elaine Renoff is the patient education coordinator at Atwell Eye Care. And uh, she's going to talk to you just like she's talking to me uh, this afternoon. We want to thank everybody on Facebook, too. Um, so, you know, if, if, for all your questions, it was great to be able to have them answered. Oh, one more question. Uh, can, will long distance vision change? No. If okay. anything, it helps give that a little extra boost so that you get that clarity. Again, it's focusing that light so it can reach the back of the eye. Oh, Elaine, we have been telling everybody about uh, two new technologies. One uh, technique is called camera or raindrop, okay? Basically very similar, one on eyes that have had LASIK uh, and, and the other on virgin eyes. This is uh, going to be 
Uh, the uh, open house is Thursday in the Harlem Road office, okay, at 5.30. You can talk to Elaine. You can talk about getting an appointment, okay? I'm sure it won't be long before you can get that appointment. At Wall Eye Care, you know where they are, 3095 Harlem Road in Chictawaga. If you'd like, give them a call. You can call them right now at 892-2020, 892-2020, or log on to atwalleye.com. It's as simple as that. You could be seeing incredibly clear in just a matter of minutes. It Elaine. really is. I, I mean, we're just thrilled with the technology, and I, I hate to boast, but I want everybody to know yeah how good my eyesight is. This is going to be the answer to, for so many people. I hope so. Yeah. I hope everybody could take advantage yeah. of it. Think about it. All right, Aileen, thank you so much. Thank and you And good for luck, everybody. Me. Good luck be asking for camera and or raindrop at, at Walt Eye Care.